40. Check, check, check. Everything should be coming in crystal and clear. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Day two playing with my Rodecaster Pro system. I am, I, I've been on the internet all night, all day, all morning, just just getting some more information, some more feedback, some more, I don't know what do you call it, but just some more of this little, uh, of this little all-in-one mic preamp setup. I guess I don't know what you want to call it, but it's it's something. It is something to it is something to behold. If if you if if you got YouTube, if you're doing the YouTube and you want to convert over to a a, a podcast style, or if you just want to do a podcast, you really you really should pick up this 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 machine. I mean it's. It's simplistic. It's all in one. It's it's just totally awesome. Totally, totally awesome. Where are you about to go? Super glue. Wait, 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 wait. Is that is that like super super glue? Like industrial spring super glue? Like super glue that that when you glue that motherfucker, it won't come down super glue. Oh, then we good. Thank you. I got some super glue, y'all. I set up my, um, uh, well, you guys know I got my new truck, right? Let, let, let me come on in. Let me come on in. Now, when I come in, yo, don't, don't be talking about my background, all right? This was the only place I could set up in my, you know, set up in my house right quick. But I am here. Right here. What's going on, y'all? Lockout men in the house on my week off, literally. I, I've been off since Thursday. Well, I came home Thursday, and then I just been off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. And then I'm off. Well, I go back tomorrow, but... I got to go for my uh, DLT physical tomorrow. Technically, my DLT physical is not up yet, but I figure that I will do my DLT physical and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, I can only, you know, get a year, which which is crazy, man, which is crazy. But when you're, you know, when you're – um. When you're a diabetic, a type two diabetic like myself, you know, and there's ways, there's ways that you can get from, you know, being a diabetic, you know, change the way you eat, uh, change your, change, change, put a little bit more exercise in your life. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Uh, what else can I say, man? I mean, I'm just enjoying just just enjoying life right now, seriously. I mean, I've been on the road for about a good minute, and this is actually the longest time that I really have taken off to really enjoy, you know, enjoy being here with the family, enjoy watching TV, enjoy sleeping in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Don't have to worry about sleeping in the truck or nothing like that, but but I am here to talk trucks on my off day. <laughs> Check it out. My dude called me up and uh he reached out to me and he was like, "Yo, I'm just checking in with you, bro." I was like, "Yo, man, that that's what you're doing?" He was like, "Yeah, man." But check it out though. I'm about to get him back because I feel that he got some he he got some information, some good information for you new jacks that's that's thinking about coming into the game and you deciding to get on what I call the dollar accounts with any of these major companies, U.S. Express, Swift, Warner, uh, who else? Who else? Warner, Swift, U.S. Express. I, I know U.S. Express definitely. Um, 
because I just seen a U.S. Express truck over at the dollar store where I live at. Uh, it was about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and they was already posted up there waiting for the store to open the next day. But um, if you guys thinking about getting into the dollar accounts and thinking that shit's going to be gravy, my man here is about to tell you different. Let me let me bring him in. Enjoy this caller tune while waiting for the person you are calling to answer. Right, he got one of these. New Thank things. you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. Hello? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? I can't call it, man. I can't call it. You on live with me, brother, man. You is oh, on yeah. live with me. Yo, people who I got on the phone right now is my G. You know, I've been rocking out with this man for about a couple of years now. We met up when we was uh, working for U.S. Express together. And the funny part about it is that we stay in the same neighborhood. We stay in the Well, not in the same. I'm in the Glenville neighborhood. He's in the, the Collinwood. Yeah, you from the Collinwood. But we still, like, right yeah. down the street from each other, man. Yeah, I, want, clear. I want everybody to put their hands together for my man, Nail. What's going on, bro? <laughs> yes, sir. I got I, I got that good that good round of applause for you, bro. What's going on with well, you, man? Hey, no, nah, man. Just hitting this highway. When we're down the highway, still. Okay, okay. Heading over to uh, heading over to Texas. Okay. Let everybody know who you are and where you come from, bro. Uh, well, my name is Neil, and I'm from um, Cleveland, Ohio, Collinwood territory area. Grew up and raised from Collinwood. Graduated from Collinwood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, now I'm just a truck driver. I'm on my own truck now. Okay, okay. So, so from from where you at? From where you came from? As far as driving trucks, how long you been driving, man? How long you been driving? Uh, five years. About five years. Where you uh, did you yeah. get now? Where you started from? Did you get your license through a through a trucking company, or did you get your license through a no? Nah, I went school? through uh, this, this uh, school called MTC, truck driving school over in um, Missouri. Wait, 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 uh, St- wait! State of Missouri? Yeah. Wait a minute, bro. You 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 from Cleveland, Ohio, and you jumped over to Missouri to get well, your license? Is- well, yeah, headed to Missouri. The reason that that is because uh, when I was shopping around, see what school I wanted to go to, uh, I called a place uh, that gave you the license for free, and you got to pay back 200 a month. And then for the, for the first year, the second year, they gave all that money back to you. Mm-hmm. So I had to go over there and uh, US, Express, US Express represents that school or uh, a sponsor. That's yeah, true. yeah, that's right. That, I, I just realized, it, it just touched on me right quick, man, that you said, you said MTC, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is a, right. that, that is a, uh, that is a U.S. Express sponsor school, but you didn't, but you didn't go there through U.S. Express though, right? No, no, U.S. Express just sponsored me. Oh, okay, okay. They, uh, they, they, uh, they, 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 they said they hired me, uh, right out of school when they did Oh, okay, okay, okay. So U.S. is can't go to the school for free unless a, a major company said they hire you right out of school. Oh, okay, okay. So, so U.S. Express paid for paid for your schooling pretty much. Well, well, I actually went to school for free just to actually go. But then, as soon as I started, as soon as I got out of training, they took fifty dollars a week out of my check for twelve months. And then I spent another twelve months with US Express and they gave it all back to me. Okay. So how long was you how long you was with US Express though? Uh about two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Okay, okay. So you so so when you got into US Express, man, what what was it that you should have that you should have known before you got into truck driving? What what was it? Well, um, actually, nothing really. Um, I just, um, I didn't have any expectations, but the get my CDLs and go to work. So it wasn't nothing that I expected or did not expect. 
You know, they told me when I came out of school, I'll be able to train it for six weeks or however many weeks it was. Uh, soon then I went and you know, took the road test, up, uh, upgraded, got my own truck, and I rode from there. Oh, okay. But uh, it, ain't nothing, it ain't nothing because you're a company man. It, it wasn't no pressure. The pressure comes when you trying to buy only your own truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, right. But you, you, uh, so with two and a half years with US Express, was you was you OTR? Was you dedicated? Was you regional? What was, I was you? Uh, I was a regional dedicated. Regional dedicated. Region dedicated. Uh, I went to Ohio. I did, I did Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, and Indiana. All right. Only for us that did for US Express. Uh, regional dedicated. All right. So since you did since you did that, was you dedicated to a certain? Uh, a certain account or you just, you rocked out with the whole, uh, with the whole thing. You, you delivered everywhere. Well, I delivered, um, I was dedicated for, uh, $70 account. Ooh, and I said went to family a dollar. I went to a four estate. Yeah. $70 going store to store. Sometimes one store, sometimes five store. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm big or small the order is. Okay. So was they when they when they asked you to do Family Dollar, did they tell did they tell you anything anything about Family Dollar? Did they did they talk you did they talk you into it or or was you or was you like yo I just want to do Family Dollar? Well, when you when you were the MTC, you were taught to recruiters and then they asked you what you're trying to do. Uh huh. Uh, they they offer you. Ohio didn't have regional, Can you give just me a regional time, OTR, because they didn't have that much stuff in our area, in the area of Ohio. Right. So they didn't offer you OTR for a dollar account. Okay. Family dollar, um, general dollar, general, the general, mm-hmm. dollar general, Do- family dollar, dollar general, or um, dollar, one? dollar tree. Dollar tree. I, I call them, right. I call them the dollar accounts. Can you give for the dollar account. Yeah, I call I call them the dollar accounts because they when I went to a US Express and they was like, you know, where you stay at or where you live at or something like that. It was like uh right. they was like, you know, where you from? And I was telling them I'm from Cleveland in Ohio. Uh do you have anything like dedicated or or uh do you have anything dedicated or regional? And they was like, yeah, we 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 got something dedicated. We got the uh, we got the family dollar accounts where you can where you can make about fifteen or about twelve fifteen hundred dollars a week. Is that true? Yeah, that that's true. Um, it depends on how hard you want to hustle. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you had to do at least three stores a week as you gross in. Uh, maybe twelve, twelve hundred a week. Well, I thought before taxes. But if you want to go over that, you got to do four stores a week. And now uh, they did was uh, they paid you, they paid about thirty cents. They paid me, uh, they paid me fifty, fifty five cents for family dollar because of the short distance. Mm-hmm. They gave me two hundred and twenty dollars per trailer. Mm-hmm. Now, and I did three. I did three because I'm I'm up, I'm up in age, so I did three trades a week. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's that's two hundred and fifty dollars per trailer. Per trailer, two hundred twenty dollars, two hundred twenty dollars per trailer. And you did about fifty five. How yeah, how how many trailers is this per trailer a day or per trailer a week? Per per trailer, every time every time you drop. I empty and pick up a hook, a hook, a, a full one. You got two hundred twenty dollars. Oh, it's two hundred. Oh, my fault. I I thought you said two hundred and fifty dollars, but it's two hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, two hundred twenty. At that time, I mean, let me let me let me say this because things have been could have changed over the years. Okay. Two twenty at that time. Okay. I don't know what it is now. Okay, yeah, because you know, just like myself, we're we're no longer with. Uh, with uh, U.S. Express, we sort of moved on to greener right. pastures. Now, me, I, I opt not to do the dollar account. I, nah, mm-mm. After, after seeing what you guys have to do, when they showed us that video, over here talking about we had to uh, unload that, 
man, tell these tell, tell these new jacks, man, that these dollar accounts ain't no joke, man. These, I mean, well, they think they're going to come in and they're going to make all this money without doing no work. Let let them know well, about the work, bro. Well, uh, if, 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 if you don't have any labor or no uh, labor in you, no, no working labor, mm-hmm. the dollar account is not for you. Because if that truck got 5,000 or 10,000 pieces on it, you're going to touch each and every piece to roll it into Jack Knight, 45, 90, that truck at her time, and to the door where it goes straight in. If you don't know, if you're not, if you're not deal with tight spots or heavy labor, it's not for you. Now, the time I was there, I trained a couple of people. They, the first day they quit. The first? Most of them were young men. Most for... of them were in their early 20s. What? They, 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 they wasn't on it. Most of the guys who stayed there was in their 30s. At forty, to be honest with you. So, um, so you don't think so? So you don't think, uh, in your experience, that how, how many dudes have you trained uh, or try to train when when you was I doing? I try to it? train. Uh, I try. I try like ten guys. My well, best ten guy. Uh, most of them just didn't, just couldn't can handle it. So you so say? After that, I just uh, uh, I got I got, I got a lot of training. So you say you say out of the out of the ten guys who who was able to who was able to who was able to stay if uh, any the, the older guys and, they, and, they, and they, most of them in their mid thirties and older guys so, who was younger than, was guys who grew up on labor that labor ain't shit nothing to me guys we had a problem going that truck and throwing things you know, doing things on the rollers and rolling into the store now the younger the younger generation the early twenties or the late teens the early twenties. Mid twenties, they they uh they 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 usually uh, pull it up and uh, get out of there. They now, usually don't handle it. Now was 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 the issue more so of the of the of the physical labor part, or That's them tr- or them <laughs> trying to to back the truck up into these tight areas? Well, so no, when you are training, that's the part of going to training, as you may know. But the TT do driver that we once was. How to jackknife and bag into tight area? Mm-hmm. Now, that that part right there, they they would have got, it. they would have got it, or or they was getting it. It was the labor. When you got to pick up all, you got to pick a whole entire trailer up by yourself, and then in the day your back hurt, your chain stand straight, you're stiff. So guys said, no, nah, this ain't for me. Uh, most of them, most of you, like I said, young guys said, no, nah, this ain't for me because they didn't want to do the labor. Okay. I mean, you know, once you learn how to drive a truck and hit the highway, they love it. Mm-hmm. As long as they all, as long as they all think I to do a bag to a dot. So why did you pick a dollar general account? I'm mean, a dollar account. I don't understand. So I don't, if, you're, if you're not to labor and you never did labor, the dollar account is not for you. You're going to quit. So you That's said- the reason why it's a high uh, turnover in, in, in the dollar uh, account. Not so- only for use of stress. For uh, JB Hunt and anyone else, the dollar account. I think uh, I think JB Hunt, uh, Warner, Swift, and uh-huh. US Express. Warner, Swift, uh-huh. and US Express is the three main ones that I that I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's that, I, right. that, that I know that does the uh, that does the dollar account. Dollar accounts. But uh, right. but JB Hunt, yeah, I think JB Hunt. You know, did a few of them. You know, if if they still doing it, I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't came across any JB Hunt's uh, trucks in a in a dollar parking lot. I seen, like I said, wow. majority of them. I seen US Express in majority of them, but but uh, well, but well, yeah, US but Express those were top three. Asking, um, well, let me say this: when US Express went to Ashley, Indiana, to that uh, Family Dollar account. Mm-hmm. Warner pulled out. They couldn't keep. They couldn't keep enough people to to handle that. They, they do the uh, the count. That's how you express. Got into Ashley, Indiana, family dollar uh, account. So they Warner pulled out because they couldn't keep the, the guys. They kept quitting and they didn't want to do the, you know just do the work. All right. So labor work. So what all the do- so what all the dollar all the dollar general areas or dollar general dollar. Family dollar areas that you have done in your time 
with uh, U.S.'s breasts? Uh, uh, well, I, I, like I said, I did the four states, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Illinois. I went to the suburb, the countryside, and, and into the, into the uh, urban neighborhood. So I, I did them all. I did everywhere. I, out of those four, out of those four areas, you you said urban, countryside. Which one was the worst? Well, which one was the best, and then which ones was the worst? Well, uh, the best would be the countryside, uh, the country one to the country stores. You know, come under the hip town with something dollar. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, I'm gonna say this to you. It may sound a little bad. If the, the more the farther you go out into the white neighborhood stores, the white American stores, some guy got the truck unloaded and done quickly and fast as possible. Um, talking about our people, our people, going to the urban neighborhoods, they take their time, they're planning their cell phones, they uh, they're taking breaks, they gotta stop people there, they gotta stop people that. So dealing with the African American neighborhood, they're the worst. As far as trying to work with. Mm-hmm. That's just my experience. Like once again, I, I done went to the uh, suburbs and the urban, and the countryside. Man, we you go hit that store, you get that day early. They won't, they won't hit that store, that truck right on the spot. Man, I don't wish the next day is they supposed to be there. But you go to our, uh, like I said, they go to uh, the urban. There's always some BS. All right, so so let me hold you up right quick, guys. Let me uh let me let you know this is this is my man's opinion that does not have that does not affect any of the opinions of this host right here. Number one, I don't fuck with the dollar account. So this man right here, he's been doing it for the, he's he did it for the last two years. So this is all of his opinions based on his experience with uh with the dollar account. So you said so you said the urban. <laughs> you said the urban the urban ones was the one that kept that that kept holding you up as far as trying to get things done yes uh as far as the, the urban story they know you know how you know how the urban story they don't want to come to work and when they is at work they got one cell phone in one hand and they got maybe a paper towel a bag of paper towels in the other hand and it took them five seconds. They took them fifteen minutes to put that down and come back. Wow. So um, I'm like telling you, um, people who listen to this broadcast, is what I experienced mm-hmm. and what I know for a fact. Out of all the time, how many stories I've done a week, a year, a month, I put a lot of stories. I deal with all different races, and, and uh, unfortunately, I am a 100 percent African American. <laughs> we are the worst when it comes to doing labor work. I In feel my it. opinion. Now, what about uh? Now, a lot of these family dollars, uh, dollar generals, and and uh, and uh, what is it? Dollar Tree. A lot, a lot yeah, of them, dollar. a lot of them, uh-huh. a lot of them is in some like plazas, some 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 off of the streets. A lot of these stores that 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 you guys will go to. They don't have docks. They have a door. You you literally yeah. got to back up to a door, and and literally. set and, and set up a, a a roll type thing so you can roll the 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 stuff off the truck. Being that being that you that you done it for the last I mean for the last two years, man. What are some of the worst back in situations that you ever encountered with uh? Um, with, the, with the dollar accounts, the worst is, is, is trying to back the store in. Some cases you got to go, you got to back the store in on, on, on the residential street, and we all know that residential street is tight. So the worst you had to do is, is try to back into a residential street, go into a residential street, back into the store without trying to roll somebody's grass over. And the uh, 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 the place you're bagging into is, is just like a parking spot if you're going to, uh, 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 like a love or something. Mm-hmm. To try to park in between two trucks. That's how tight it is. Um, so without, you know, you, you could do it if it's easy if you want to bag it with somebody's grass and then you get that bill. Or you just rest get that bill. Or you get a ticket for tearing up private property. 
So that's the worst to me is, is trying to bag it off the uh, regular digital street. Now, if you, you know, a lot of people say, well, the worst to me is bagging off the main street. But once you swing that truck and block the traffic, they're going to stop. Mm -hmm. So that's the easiest to me. Because they nobody going to try to take on the 18-wheeler. So that's the easy uh, the part to me that the bagging off the main street. Well, I got like, oh, I can't stop this traffic. Throw that truck, throw that truck out there in, in the middle of that traffic. And watch that stop. Oh, okay. You say, yeah, you know what? You, you know what? Some, some, some people, some drivers, when they, when they see us trying to, to back up into a, into a dock that's off the street, they don't give us no type of courtesy, man. They don't give, they, they don't, uh, they, they don't give us, they don't give us no courtesy at all. As far as seeing us trying to get off, you know, trying to back up in this dock. They know that we need, number one, they know that we need the space. And number two, they know that we need the time. They, you know, they drivers, you know, four-wheelers just don't give that to us, man. What area that you came in that that literally disrespected you while you was trying to back up at a at a at a dollar store? Um, no, no, that 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 goes into the white neighborhood. Uh, white man don't have no patience. You know, they 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 they're the biggest and the worst for rural rage in any race. Uh, so I'm gonna say this to you is when you go you go to black neighborhoods, they they they, they that's the this is opposite. They will stop and you know they try to stop traffic for for you. If anybody's on the street, they'll stop traffic and help you back in. Compared to going to a white neighborhood. They blowing their horn, flicking you off, and all that other stuff. Let me say this to all the listeners who drive trucks. When you get to a situation where you're on the main street, you need to swing that truck up the road, or on, a, on a main highway and back into a dock or to a yard, it's best not to ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. Just go ahead and dog the dog, 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 dog people, swing your truck out there, put it in that 90 or uh, 45, and back in. Let them blow their horns, let them flick you off, but you still just they still sitting there waiting on you to bag in. And that's the and, and, and that's that's in the white neighborhood. The white stores. Okay. Don't ask for permission because you you won't get it. Okay. Okay. Ask for forgiveness. Yeah. I'll need you to block them. I'll need to piss them off and bag in. My <laughs> bad, man. I appreciate you talking about that. That's forgiveness. You say ask for forgiveness. <laughs> don't ask for permission. No, don't, don't ask for permission. You just, won't get it. You just ask for that forgiveness. That's what's up, man. Well, hey, uh, once you back oh. in, just say, apologize today. We wave your hand, apologize. I'm sorry. And keep it moving. All, All right. right. What What about you? You said that you, you know, you was a trainer for U.S. Express. Um, while you was a trainer, you was training for the, you know, the dollar, uh, for the dollar accounts. But your your right. days as training, uh, being a trainer there. What was the experience as far as 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 far as training, uh, as far as training goes? And what I mean by that is, uh, if if you don't mind, well, you don't work for U.S. Express no more, so I'm sure you don't mind. But how much how much you was getting as far as financial wise, uh, training uh, drivers for the dollar account? Yeah, I forget how much it was a so long ago, but. You get all their miles. We, you, you, get, you get their miles plus your miles, and a small percentage, a uh, some kind of small, uh, something, something small dollars. I mm -hmm. forget what exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, I'm concerned, man. Um, I tell you, ain't worth it. I'll tell you why. The money that, that, that well, it is worth it. It is worth it because you can you can do four or five stores a week with a trainee. Mm-hmm. So their money gonna shoot up to damn near two grand a week. That's that's why that's that's wild training, right? That's wild training. Wild training, you're gonna make some good, good money. Okay. Okay. Because you get you get two hundred twenty dollars per trailer, and I'll say do five of those. How much is that? About what, thirteen hundred something? Okay, okay. That, that that's just two that's just the trailer, not the that, that's not including the miles. You get their miles and you get your miles. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, plus, you can, uh, I think it's a little feel on that. I can't remember. It's been a minute now. But uh, you can let it be. You better have money off that, man. Okay, okay. So but what? now, the part that's not worth it is the different personality. Right, right. Now, you got to get this person got a bad attitude, or this person don't feel like working today, or I like he doesn't want to work today, moving on slow. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to deal with that, man. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I, know, I know a guy that put people off their truck. Not back when he picked you up at, somewhere else, stick to a terminal. If you live in Cleveland, they might be in Chicago. They put uh, uh, throw you off their truck in Chicago. Okay. You the best way you can. Now what about how bad the situation is? Now what about now? I I talked to some I talked to some drivers, uh, driver trainees, uh, that was doing the dollar accounts, and they were saying that they was taking they was being taken advantage of, bro. They was like uh, they was being taken advantage of. The 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 trainer would just like kind of sit back and tell the trainee what to do. He wouldn't be up there on the truck to help out. Or nothing like that, man. What, what do you say to that? What do you say to uh, people that says that about the trainers? Okay, well, uh, the trainer, was on, the trainer, like, 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 well, that, well, like I do, well, I experience, I would get on a truck with you that first day, that first week. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to get you a feel, be a bike, get a feel for what's going on. Mm-hmm. So be a bike used to what's, what it's what doing. Mm-hmm. The second week, now, this, this, this is what the trainees need to remember. Once you get out there on your own, there ain't going to be no trainer. You ain't getting no trainee for a while until you, until you earn to be, to be able to be a trainer. Right. So you're not going to get a trainer for a while. So why do the trainer need to be on the truck with you the whole time you with the trainer? To get you used to being by yourself. Mm-hmm. He ain't going to be there when, once you upgrade. great. Who's going to be there with you? Now, your body can getting, getting used to you doing it by yourself. Let me say this to you, bro. When I was with my trainer, after the first week, I told him, I, no more, no more, uh, help me out no more. Mm-hmm. You know what you mean? I said, I said, when I, when I upgrade, you going to be there? He said, no, I need to get used to this now. I told him, he didn't tell me. I did every single trip by myself for that three or four weeks after I told him, I, was, uh, I didn't need him on the truck with me no more. So, well, my point is, but that's kind of, that's kind of, I, I came from a world that who, who did man work, who did man do the labor. Mm-hmm. My point is, these trainees out here need to understand. Once you get on that, once you work from that trainer, trainer, and do your own, again, nobody there with you. So that's why he put you on a truck by yourself. He's not taking advantage of you. He's getting you used to what you're about to experience. To see if you want to do that when you get by yourself. Okay. You understand know what I'm saying to you, bro? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, That's... Like, you, you, am I right though? Man, you're you, you're me. You right. You're right. And like I said, I, I mean, you know, I, it it was it was two each is on. You know what I'm saying? As far as right. as far as what the trainees been you know been talking versus what the trainers has been saying because the trainees, like I said, they, they over here talking about, yo, the, the, uh, the, uh, trainer wouldn't help me out. I had to do all this by myself, but I'm thinking to myself while I'm talking to him, I'm like, well, you guys is going to get out here on your own. Y'all not going to, y'all not going to have nobody to help you. Literally nobody, nobody, nobody to help you. You gotta, you gotta unload that truck 53 foot, uh, from the bottom to the top. As as you guys seen in the video that I just showed, y'all gonna have to unload that by yourself, and you gotta get in, and 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 you gotta get into a a a, a good rhythm to it's a shape, to, yeah, a good rhythm and a good shape to to do it, especially when especially when you're trying to make that money. Like I said before, right. you was you. The dollar accounts ain't no joke. You is going right. to work. Seriously. You're going to work. And You're going to work, now. Go ahead. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say this. Now, the one who's looking for an easier dollar account to get into and make them some money, and we made really good money when you get the trainee. It's uh, not the family dollar, not the dollar, dollar general. Dollar general because dollar general is on wheels. Mm-hmm. Like, but sitting there, stuff is on wheels. 
Now, you want to get your easier dollar account and make you, you know, you, you, you just, you in and out with that account, you in and out. Now, it's going to be the one. Now, uh, let, if, 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 where? now let me ask you this. Do you, do you think the amount that you guys is making a week is fair for 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 driving the truck and unloading the trailers by yourself? Do you think do you think the amount that 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 they give you guys is a fair is a fair is a fair you, workable if you, amount? If you think if if, if, you, if you're doing three trailers a week, no, it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it because. You can put this out there and put it in my house and do the same thing. You work from home anyway for a whole week. You go out there and do put it in some miles and make you uh, 50 cents, 50 other miles that it is. Put your miles in. If you can make it 3,000 miles on the road, uh, you already know it, Sean. You can make you, make you pay that same kind of money, touch that freight. But the reason I did it because they paid for my free schooling. Okay. And if if, 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 if I didn't want to go OTR with a company as big as Juice Express, I don't think I'm gonna get enough loads. Okay. I make enough money. Okay. That's why I went to the dollar account because I knew I was gonna make the money, make some money, and two I already go on my own. I mean, then get up out of there. Okay. That's the reason I went to uh, the dollar account. Just to, cause I knew I'd make it, the money, enough money to pay, you know, do what I need to do. Okay, that's what's... as far as uh, if you make it twelve hundred a week, you can make that. You can make twelve hundred a week, two thousand, three thousand miles, just bumping dots. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, let's uh fast forward. Uh, fast forward up to now. Now, it, it sounds like it sounds like you was you was pretty cool. You was you was pretty content with with doing the dollar accounts. What? Why you left? Why why you leave US Express? Well, I left US Express. I, I got tired doing dollar account. Oh, number okay. one. Okay. That's the biggest. That's the biggest number one it is. You, they you figured, know it's number one. You you figured two number and two, you figured two and a half years was enough. Right. Number two. Um. The reason I did two or two and a half years, I had to pay my I had to pay my school mm-hmm. in that year. My school was paid off in that year. And then the second year, I won all my money back. So I just stuck with it. I mean, I'm already in the rhythm with it. So I'm already, I stuck with it. I got my, my, my five grand back. Okay. Well, what it was. Okay. Um, um, and then number three, I, I fulfilled my obligations to, uh, US, to Express. Uh, US Express. I didn't owe me anything else. Okay, that's what's up, you know. and that's a and you know what that, that's a that's some good advice. That's a good way of of doing that. If anybody wants to uh, go to you use U.S. Express and go through their schooling, and they want U.S. Express to pay for it, that's some good advice. What he just said: go in, fulfill, you know, do at least two years. That first year. You can uh, you can fulfill your obligation to U.S. Express, and then that second right. year you can get your money you you can get your money back. While at the same time, while at the same time, you guys is getting your experience. You getting exactly. your experience. You also getting 100%. now another thing that you guys is not realizing that y'all that y'all getting y'all getting y'all experience twofold. Number and this is why I say this is because number one. Y'all getting your experience on driving a truck. Number two, you're getting backing experience. Right, and, am, am I am I right or wrong on that? You, they they getting their backing. Right. They getting your backing experience because, like I said, when I asked them, I said, "Yo, what are some of the toughest backing situations that's at these dollar stores?" They they off uh, they off the roads they off the residential streets they they right. they in they they in small ass uh uh shopping plazas yeah that's, that's correct yeah you but, you uh, had to do uh, some you had to do some some sight backing and some blind side backing so you will get your experience right. so you get you, know, you uh, doing doing that you'll be a, you'll be a way better backer. Than that, the guy who bumped dots every day. Exactly. You come out, you, 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 you just express, 
Ain't nobody ain't nobody, ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody rolled better than you. Cause then once you, once you hit those dinks and dinks, you are gonna hit some shit, but you are gonna learn off of them too. Exactly. I mean, you might you might you might you might hit that with that dahani. You might hit that pole. You might even hit the building if you ain't paying no attention. But you gonna learn off of it. And then you 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 only gonna do it once. <laughs> you say you, you know, say that one you say that you, you say that one time is enough. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you want to do it twice. Um, you want to do it twice. You say that uh, one. You but, say uh, that one time is enough, right there, man. Yeah, cause now you know better. Oh, shit, I, I, now, now I see what I did wrong. We'll do that twice. But seventy dollars is the best place to go if you want to do uh, one of the best places to go because. Most of the stores at Family Dollar is inside a shopping center. All you do is turn into a shopping center. Every blue moon, you might have to back off the road when you're a little hip town. There's a small parking lot. You got to back in off the road. Mm-hmm. But uh, they, they, it ain't often, but Dollar General and uh, Dollar General and uh, uh, Dollar General is the biggest one off the road and, and Dollar Tree. You can do way more stuff backing off the highway or the side road or the side street with them two. Okay, that's Especially what's up. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's that's what's I mean, up. Dollar, you always in the plaza. You yeah. remember and Shy, remember right, 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 my truck all the time? Yeah, right there on uh right there on the hundred and fifth, right there. This is a family dollar I'm right there. Oh, you can say my Collarwood. Yeah. The family dollar inside there, you know how big it is. Yep. All they do is put it. We, we park there. That's how big it is. We park being here, park our truck there. Yeah, that's and that's one of the and that's one of the few spots in the urban area where you can actually have room to negotiate, especially if you get there early enough. And a lot of you drivers right. should get there early enough because when it's busy, nobody is like like we said before. Nobody ain't gonna nobody ain't gonna move out the way for you. They they gonna Nobody they gonna, gonna get, they gonna get in your way if anything before they get yeah. out of the way, you know. Another thing, uh, anybody want to do dollar a dollar account? Get to your store the day the, the day before. Park at your store the day before. Put your truck in position. So when they open up that door, all we gotta do is start unloading. Mm-hmm. Now, um, that's the best way I can give you to get there early get the day before. Don't wait. Don't wait your day up. And you don't have to start your clock until that first store is empty. But you uh, unload that first store. Then you start your clock to go to your second store. Now that you more time to get all the stores done hold, and hold get up. back to where to chill. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You just mentioned something about so do, well yeah, I guess you I guess you have to start your clock because you gotta be on duty while while you unload in the trailer, right? Yeah. Damn it. But if you already there in the position and they gotta move your truck no more, so who knows who does it? They, they can't. They won't tell you to do that at the, the, the dispatch, but they won't tell you not to do it either. Oh, okay, okay. So technically, you could be yeah. on duty or off duty, just as long as you gotta show. Yeah, that's first store. Only that first store. Well, when you put that parking lot, you gotta do your fifteen minute. You no, know, your fifteen minute pre trip. You'll walk around. Do your pre inspection. Your still inspection. Mm-hmm. And uh, take out your second store. Now that saves you a lot of time. By the time you, if you got four stores, you just save yourself two or three hours. Just, just, just put on the, on the, on the uh, back end. We do get done with your second or the last store. Now you got time to get back to DC or get home or get to a truck stop wherever you got time to go. Where you wherever, wherever, wherever you're going. Now when I when I did that, let me tell you this, bro. When I did that, mm-hmm. I had like three, four hours left in my clock when I got done. I went back to D.C., got my got my next trailer, and started heading towards that, that city. Okay, okay. So how, and many, then, uh, go ahead. how many how many how many stores is in one trailer? It could be up to six. If it's six stores in one trailer, that I means you probably got like a hundred, one hundred twenty pieces. Ooh, damn it! Man. Every store got a lot of little pieces. Wow. Now we start talking about. Of the four stores, there'd probably be a thousand here, a thousand, fifteen hundred there, nineteen hundred there, uh, another thousand that they did tickle in. The, the less stores you get, the more pieces that wants that store, uh, the more pieces you can put at that store, at the uh, the first store, the 
second story. Wow, man, that's that is so. But if you got if you got if you got if you got a one up and three footer, and uh, like one in one store, the whole store, the whole trailer going there because it's a brand new store. Oh, okay. store they just built. Okay, okay. So you might have like three trailers. You might have three different trucks at the same day at different times, though. Hmm. So you can do if if, if 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 you start at six and you down by nine. The other trust, the other trip I started at nine thirty, and I started unloading that trailer too, oh, and then another one coming at noon, because they get, cause that whole that's an empty store. They got all that stuff in there. Well, now, man, damn, I, you, you, man, listen, you, you, you learned a lot from uh, from just doing this uh, dollar stuff, man, and I'm glad yeah, that you, you learned, man. I'm glad that you came on to uh to uh to share your experience, man. Because a lot of people, a lot of people that's jumping on this family dollar account, thinking that it's all gravy and shit, and it it really isn't. It's something that they really got to think about and and feel that that they can do, man. That they can do. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for the faint of heart. All right, bro. So uh, what uh. Where are you at now, man? Let's uh let's fast forward to twenty twenty, man. Where, where where you at now? Uh, I'm at the, I'm at a company called Rudolph Freight. Okay. Got two years experience, and uh, you got to be an owner operator or a lease operator. Okay. How long you been? Right here. How, how long you been uh rocking out there? Uh, since April. Oh, since April. Okay. So it's be it. So yeah. so your year is coming up. Yeah, yeah. First year coming up on this company. Okay, so let's let's not talk about the company itself. You mentioned you mentioned a little bit about uh, being a lease operator, man. So this is this is your first time jumping in the lease. Yeah, yeah, I want to experience it. Um, I can tell you, uh, it's not it's not bad, but like I like I said earlier, um, when you with when you with the company driver, you have no worries. You guys said that earlier. You have no worries. Mm-hmm. You got you got to pay for no fuel. You ain't got to pay for no overhead. Period. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is drive that truck and, 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 and deliver the product. Yes, like like me. You a like me. Yeah, of no, course. You do like right. me. You know, just get, get you, just get to work. Pick up what I need to pick up. Fuel whenever I want to fuel, and and leave. That's about it. But uh, it's right. what's what's so what's the difference between being a company? Well. Listen, all right, being a company driver and a, now don't take this the wrong way, but a glorified company driver, i.e. lease driver. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Nah, not, not to say you're a glorified company driver, bro. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't be because I pay for my own truck. Uh, I got to take this truck where I want to go. That's, that's one of the big differences. Mm-hmm. I won't leave. The reason I'm still here because they 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 got a really good account. They got Dollar, Dollar General. They got, uh, I'm sorry. They got a uh, uh, um, AutoZone and and, uh, and another another uh, like AutoZone type stuff going on. DC DC. That's all we do. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's I just all- thought. Wait 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 wait! I just thought of something. Wait, you're not a lease driver, a lease person driver for the company. You're leasing from an outside source. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that's my bad. My bad. Now, now, my apologies, bro. I thought you was lease lease purchasing from the company where you driving not a third from. Party. Oh, you leasing not not from a third. Party. You leasing from a third party. Okay. Okay. Right. So it's like you actually went to uh, you went to a, like, a tr- you went to a dealership. Picked out the truck that you wanted, and you and you doing it that way. Okay, okay, okay. My yeah, bad. Well, well, it is. Now, Fred, Fred and I got a middle, got a middle, a middle, a middle man that they could uh, get lease from. You need to get the truck from Freightliner itself. Okay. But there's a middle man who give you all do all the paperwork and all, and all the payments and all that other stuff. Okay, okay. So you leased on to to this company. Okay. So let's just talk about. Just, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I just have their stickers on my truck before I can uh, attack get my own uh, authority. Okay, okay. Now, how much how how much you paying a month or paying a week for your truck? Uh, I got I got a 2019. I got a brand new. It's seven seven thirty a week. 
Seven thirty a week. Seven thirty a week. All right, all right. So how many miles? Uh, if, if, if I ever had a had a, I could have went to a dealer. If you got enough money to go to the dealer, put the down payment when you start out, go to the dealer and do and and, 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 and get your truck. Okay. If there's only one time a month, there might be no more than two thousand dollars a month. So you say your advice is to actually just if you're thinking about leasing, your advice is is to go uh to places, you know, like to a dealership and try to lease yeah, from there the instead man. of instead of going through now, well, a well, company. The difference the difference is it won't be a lease. You you be you be buying it. Like you're buying a car, a car note. Okay, okay. That's the difference. Okay. Now the reason I came with the lease so I can give it back. When you want it like a car note, uh, that that goes on your credit. That's the difference. Okay, okay, okay. If you're dedicated to it, it would be it shouldn't even matter. Okay, okay. So okay, now, okay. Uh, the difference is being between a lease and uh, a company driver is you have to pay for all your own fuel, one hundred percent. Your own fuel, mm-hmm. your own PMs, your own maintenance, your own tires. Your own insurance. Your own breakdown. You're paying for the truck. Like, your own breakdown. You're paying for the truck like you do your car. If it something happens to your car. The same exact way. Do you, your own you insurance. Get, that's right. You got to so get cargo insurance. You got to get a billion dollars on a, uh, if you hit somebody, a million dollars insurance. Mm. Uh, is that no joke? Mm. You said a million, million dollars. dollars. This a million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah, at least a million dollars insurance. Whew, a million dollars. This truck, this truck, this truck tears up shit. It ain't like no little, 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 little accident like a car, like a four wheel. It takes somebody in life with this truck. This truck. Easy. Uh, tear down poles. You're hitting, you're, you're, you're hitting down bridges or you're, or you're not paying attention, not going to step over. That, they usually come for bagging. Okay. Are you cover bag in? So what? Uh, if you're gonna do it. So what? Uh, so what? So what? This being that this is now being that this is your truck and you're leased on to a company, you could basically go to any company. Exactly. Do do the company? Let's say let's let's say if you was leased on to U.S. Express, and I'm just using that as an example. This is your truck. Do you have to uh-huh. be? Do you have to be tied to U.S. Express's policies as far as uh, yes. as, as far as leasing on with them? Like, for example, yes. if they if they want you to put a camera in your truck, do you have to do that? Yes. Mm. No, I don't think. Not, I only, not, not, not only a camera, you have to do their speed limit. They. Even they they don't govern. Is, my, my truck is, your truck should be open, right? My, my truck is wide open. I, I, I blow past anybody anytime I feel like it. Okay, but they, but if you so get, if, if you get it put on with U.S. Express, they'll govern your shit. They won't govern it. Oh, tell you can't go a certain speed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's verbally in the paper, tell you can't go to the even though the truck is wide open, they're telling you that you can't go past sixty-eight miles per hour. Wow. But how would they? How would they know that though? How? how you got you, you got you got to call. You got to get on. You got to get on with their DPS. Oh, uh, the, the, uh, the Qualcomm, the drive, yeah, the driver yeah. tag, yeah, you know, like yeah, 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 you got, you got to go through that stuff. Wow, that is. Well, cool. the, reason, the reason the reason that is to get you your messages to you, and right. also to make sure that all they know where that trailer is at. Oh, okay, that's yeah, that's understandable. Now, what about what what uh what computer system you have in your truck right now? Uh, we we don't we don't have a computer system. We can be we, uh, we got, we got our cell phone. Oh, everything is hooked uh, up. To, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we got that that cheap trucking. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. Well, hey, man, thanks for coming on, bro. I really do appreciate you coming on and and chopping it up with me about uh about leasing and about the family dollar joints, man. Where you at right now, though? Uh, well, I'm, I'm in Kentucky. I have to go by the main office. Um, all, all my stickers go to the main office up here. Dispatch. I pick up some stickers for the uh, yearly tags. Okay, okay. And then you are are uh, you uh are you gonna leave out 
uh, today, or are you going to take the rest of the day off and leave out tomorrow? Or what, what, what's no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep on going up to Arkansas. I got, I got to go to uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Are you I'm going, going down, down to Arkansas. Oh, you going down to Texas? I probably might be going down there that way tomorrow, man. I got a, uh, I got a, I got a, I got my DOT physical tomorrow. Uh, once I, once I get finished with that, then I'm about to go and get a haircut, and then I'm, I'm, I'm. Where you the physical at? Uh, I got my own doctor. I, I got my own doctor. He's uh. uh I mean, I, I, I got to get before him for if I need one. Oh, okay. Well, I hold on right quick. Do I have my? I don't even have my wallet on me, man. But what I'll do? Hold on. I think I got a. Hold on. Let me. I'm looking at my phone because I got uh. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, DOT physical confirmed tomorrow. You you know where Independence is? And In, well, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. right over there, right side, right side road. Uh, seventy-seven. Yeah. The uh, what I'll do. Is I'll send you. Is this a phone number right here? Hold on, right quick. Uh, his name is Doctor Marone. He does all DOT physicals. He only charged sixty bucks, man. That's all he charged. But the thing is, he takes cash only. Okay, just to let you know. Uh, uh, okay. uh he he charged yeah, sixty. He wanna, he wanna. He yeah, he's probably about to be done with the contest. The thing they turned off, he's still on uh, contest. Yeah. Uh, yes. it, hold on. What'd you say? You, are you still on Comcast right now? Uh, no, I'm not on Comcast. Wait, wait, the thing you've been doing, wait, are you still on a... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We still in the podcast, man. I haven't, I haven't closed. Yeah, podcast, it. Yeah. Podcast. <laughs> yeah, we still in it, man. But I'm about to close it out right now, man. So hey, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Uh, thank you very much for uh, dropping by, uh, chopping it up with me, man. Getting this uh, experience out for everybody. Let me say this to your audience one more time. Go ahead. Anybody think about getting on to um, your own music company without, you know, going through a company or you can maybe you can make five thousand dollars a week. The only difference is it takes out anything you owe, like a few and your payment. They take it out for you. Yes, yes, set it up that way. Okay. You might, um, I, I have for 3000 you know how hard I rode, 3000 to 1000 you know how hard I rode. I'll pay my, I'll pay my, I'll pay my overhead. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, go, you, can, you can easily grow $5,000 a week. If you, if you only own a truck 100%, you take, you take, you will take home 90% of that. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, hey, again, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you coming by. You know what I'm saying? This is Nail, a uh, truck driver for five years. He stopped in and holler at your boy right quick. If you guys want to come on and just, you know, just call me up or something like that, just and want to holler at me, do that. You can hop, you can holler at me at 216-600-2090. Make sure you text first because if you don't text and I don't know who you are, I'm not going to answer the phone. I'm just saying. All right. You can also get at me at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. And you can hit me up in the DM over at Instagram. Yo, if you guys want to come on and share some of your experience with me or 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 anything. Same goes for you, uh same goes for you, uh recruiters if y'all want to get your biz you, you want to get the business out there let me know if you want to promote your company let me know holler at your boy well i am your humble host lockout man that's my man nail we're out of here you guys have a blessed day and i will come back at you guys with another video on my roadcaster pro y'all hear that voice that sensuous that sensuous bass voice y'all hear it all right i'm gone you guys take it easy peace all right man so yeah bro okay i'll um i'll go ahead and uh i'll text uh i did all, I do all right man yeah you did all right bro that was shit that was the bomb